Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the oil pressure switch on a 2009 Pontiac G8. <clears throat> what you're gonna need is a ratchet. I got a three inch extension and the oil pressure switch socket. The socket I got it at, you can find it at uh, O'Reilly's or AutoZone. It's about 12 bucks. Um, I believe they rent them out as well, but I just wanted to buy just to have one to add to my collection. The oil pressure switch is going to be behind the intake manifold. Let's see if you could see it there. Oh, you can't. It's kind of hard to see. Let me add some light. right there you see it uh, very easy to take off um, it was actually not on very tight I got it loose, so I wouldn't twist it off there. So I've been having this issue. Um, my check engine light's been coming on, so I went ahead and reset it. Um, the first time it was reading oil pressure switch and then when I reset it, the check engine light came on again and I got the same error. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it and see if it fixes it. And it's gonna be the same to tighten it. Um, what I recommend doing is placing it with your hand, giving it a few turns, then put the socket on because if you put it straight on the socket, it might fall behind and you do not want that. Giving it a few turns until it's tight. There you go. Use the connection. Plug it back in. Good to go. Got it snapped in there. Good to go. Looks like the check engine came off. I got fixed up. The TPMS sensors. I was gonna go ahead and erase the code, but it looks like the check engine came off. That resolved the problem. So again, the, this is how to replace the oil pressure switch on a 2009 Pontiac G8 6.0. Um, again, what you're gonna need is the, the ratchet, the three inch extension, the oil pressure switch socket, and um, if you wanna reset the check engine line, in this case it came off, but you could always disconnect the battery I'll erase the codes with a little scanner, but uh, looks like you want to erase. Working good. 